So we had a big subject with a lot of little parts to it, and um, so that's why we broke it up individually. Um, my main focus was study skills, and um, as Yolanda covered in um, test anxiety, a lot of ways to help um, get rid of that is to have the right materials before a test so that you feel prepared for the test. Um, one of the main things that I wanted to go over first was note taking, considering you guys will be are or will be taking notes during this presentation. Um, does anyone have a certain way they take notes? Like, do they do the certain outlines, like back in high school or anything? Like the main subject and little subcategories, or do you guys just take them as you go? Take them as you go, just whatever you say. And then rewrite them later. And rewrite them later. All right. Well, some tips on note taking. Um, one, keep a separate notebook and section for each, each class so that you don't have a notebook full of a bunch of different things and you're getting confused what notes are from what class. Um, two, always put the date on the notes so that you know like before the test like what exactly is going to be on the next exam rather than studying stuff from like four weeks earlier that you already took a test on. Um, three, notes and pen, not pencil because pencil normally wears off on the other pages and is really frustrating and you can't read. Four, read assigned textbooks, chapters before lecture so you get an idea of what you're gonna be covered or covering throughout that week. Five, write main points, not everything. And you also wanna make sure that you're um, writing it in your own words so that you're gonna understand. And um, Phil always like writes words up here that he says and always asks, oh, do you guys know what that means? So you want to make sure that you're asking questions so that you know what's in your notes. You don't just write down what he's saying and then later you're like, oh, I have no idea what this any of this stuff means. Um, six, learn lecture, cue, lecture cues and instructor signs. So if he's writing stuff on the board, normally that means, oh, maybe I should write that down too. Um, if he says specifically, oh, write this stuff down and then you know to write it down. Each teacher has their own way of presenting their lectures and their styles of learning for us. And we've got to like kind of get to know the teacher and the instructor so that we know how to study for their classes. Um, ask questions and make associations. Um, kind of like put something that you're learning to a real life experience maybe if that helps you learn it and understand it better. Eight, use abbreviations and symbols. A lot of the times I just do an at symbol or we'll just cut off the word. But you wanna make sure that it's not all just jumbled up symbols that you're not gonna be able to not understand later on. And then you wanna make sure that you attend all classes so that if there are notes, you're not missing out on anything. Be because if you're not there, you don't know exactly what he said and it might not be covered in the book. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about studying. How do you guys normally study? Say you have a test, say I give you a test that we're gonna have a test on this this coming Friday. Like what would you do for this week to prepare for it? Anybody? Review your notes. Review your notes? Ask you about the content of the test. Ask about the content. Anything else? Remember key points of uh, your topic. Key points? All right. Um, so we got some of them. Um, a lot of the times when you're reviewing your notes, you may have questions, like he said. So ask what the main points are going to be, because sometimes you have so many notes that you're not going to know exactly what you need to study, because there's going to be so much and a lot of the times the test isn't going to be about everything the teacher had told you that day. Um, a lot of ways of studying is to rewrite it again, so repetition. Um, that's what I personally use a lot, especially like with vocab. If you want to learn definitions, just rewrite the word and rewrite the definition over and over again. Um, sing it. I've never done that before. Um, my mom always used to like make rhymes out of stuff, and there's the um, order of operations, how they have the acronyms. Does anyone know what that what they were? There's a couple of them. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of them. Do you remember any of them? 
Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yeah, so you want to like use stuff like that so that you're able to, during the test, like remember, like that would be for math. So then you would know the order of operations to do so and like you want to make different associations so that there's little things you can remember during the test. So you're not just like completely like, oh my gosh, I don't remember anything. Um, Flashcards, that's simple, back to like kindergarten, little four plus four, back to the card eight. So um, there's that. Um, Yolanda also talked about different like surroundings and how you're gonna study. So um, a lot of the surroundings has, like, depending on how you study before a test is personal, like each, like, there's not just like, I can't sit up here and be like, all you guys have to be in a silent room by yourselves and have to just reread your notes. Like, each of you have your own way of studying. Like, some people like listening to <coughs> music. Um, yeah. There's been tips and studies shown that the best kind of music to listen to while studying is like classical and soft rather than something that's gonna distract you and like get you angry. Like if you're listening to some screaming, <laughs> like that's not gonna help you concentrate on what you're doing. That's just, you're gonna get into it. Or like even like really disco -y music or something, you're gonna be like, oh, I wanna dance. Yeah. Like <laughs> it all depends. So, um, and then a lot of people like doing group projects. So maybe that person likes studying with the group because they just don't get it by themselves and a lot of people like being isolated isolated and just doing it on their own and I mean it's however you personally study you're going to want to make sure that you're comfortable because if you're studying and you're uncomfortable you're just going to be not paying attention to what you're going over because you're just going to feel awkward or embarrassed because maybe if with the group you're not going to understand something but you don't want to ask about it because everyone else is getting it. 